Welcome to European Traction, as we take a historical look back at the French BB 15,000 locomotives at work between 1993 through to operations in 2019. The BB15000 locomotives were the first of three classes built by Alstom between 1971 and 1986 for the French state railway company SNCF. The 15000s were the 25 kV AC version, whilst the 1500 volt DC version became BB7200, and the dual voltage build became the BB22200. The Locos had a typically French look, and their swept-back windscreens earned them their nicknames of Ne Cathé, or Broken Noses. All are of a standard design, with a 4,400 kilowatt power output, and top speed of 160 km per hour with monomotor bogies, or in other words, a single motor mounted above the wheel sets driving both axles. They were to replace many of the then older types of traction on the French network, which were beginning to show their age, becoming unreliable and even more expensive to maintain. Construction of the class began in the early 1970s, with the last of the 65 strong fleet being delivered in 1978. They are a universal or mixed traffic design capable of both freight and passenger operations, but in practice they weren't too well suited for cargo operations and have mainly been put to work hauling passenger trains. The Locos are 17.48 metres long, weigh 90 tonnes and have a maximum tractive effort of 294 kN. Unlike their sisters of class 7200 and 22200, the Locos only carry a single pantograph of the AM18U design. Since delivery, all were allocated to Strasbourg Depot, where they worked over the north and eastern part of the French network. Since 2007, they have moved northwest, taking over operations on the lines out of Caen and Le Havre, with most of the fleet transferring to the northern Paris depot of Achère. Today the class are slowly being withdrawn from service as new, more modern multiple unit trains are gradually put into traffic. Since their introduction, the class have become one of the most reliable electric locomotives ever to be used on the French network, with many of the fleet having now worked between 12 and 13 million kilometres apiece. The first five locomotives were delivered painted in the then-common blue-green livery, 
but from number 15007 onwards, all were presented in the excellent Grand Confort livery of silver grey with a red sideband bordered in orange. Since then, many members have been repainted, including into the concrete grey and orange livery, although this was short-lived, while others have appeared in the En Voyage and Multi-Services liveries. The programme documents the class at work from the early 1990s whilst still working on the routes they were introduced on some 20 years before and follows their gradual movement and expansion of operations across to the other lines in the northern part of the country, right through to the present day. We begin in 1993 as we look at the class at work up to and including the year 1999. At this time, the class could be found on express passenger services out of Paris Gare de l'Est, towards Luxembourg and Strasbourg, as well as a small number of freight services. It is 12.45 on Sunday the 28th of August 1993, not far from the village of Lampouay, as 15.002 heads northwest with a train from Strasbourg to Lille. Here, 15004 races through La Rueville on the 2nd of September 1993. The class were deployed on some intermodal services in the early 1990s, taking them to and from the Basel area. Here 15015 heads through the now closed station at Wittelsheim, north of Mulhouse, on the 31st of August 1993. This is Celesta on the main line south of Strasbourg as 15.020 heads a southbound container train on the 1st of September. Their sparse use on freight trains was not helped by the fact that tonnages were restricted and it wasn't until the end of the decade when a modification introduced forced air motor ventilation and which then resulted in tonnages being raised to 1,720 tonnes on the route between Luxembourg and Basel. This is 15.020 at Saverne. Train EC65, the 0750 from Paris to Vienna, passes through Mommenheim, near Strasbourg, behind 15023 on the 31st of August 1993. Thank you. 
In a rare shot, we see one of only two members of the class to receive the concrete grey and orange livery, which were numbers 034 and 040. This was not a success, and they were soon repainted in the new Corel Plus livery of two-tone grey and red. Here number 034 passes through La Rouville on the 30th of August 1993, heading train EC65. Fifteen oh four four is next to appear earlier the same day, rounding the curve through Mommenheim station on train EC ninety one from Brussels to Milano. This is Wittelsheim as number oh four seven rushes south with the thirteen fifty four Strasbourg to Lyon. Fifteen oh four eight heads west through Saarburg, with the fifteen fifty five Strasbourg to Paris intercity service. This next shot at La Rueville is included because of the historic yellow postal wagon. Number fifteen oh five three heads for Paris with the 1312 from Strasbourg. Fifteen oh six two has not long since left Charles Ville Mezier on the 29th of August 1993 with a train for Strasbourg. This loco was introduced into traffic on the 19th of June 1978. Moving forward to 1996 now, and the date is the 13th of May, as number 004 races through Mazières Les Mes with EC91 from Brussels to Basel. Fifteen oh fourteen passes through Agondage on the same day. Fifteen oh twelve was introduced into traffic on the twenty second of October, nineteen seventy three, and covered ten point seven million kilometres by the time it was withdrawn on the seventeenth of December, twenty nineteen. Fifteen oh four one departs Agondage with the O eight thirty two from Basel to Luxembourg. The loco entered traffic on the thirteenth of February, nineteen seventy six, being based like the rest of the class at Strasbourg depot. There were three main subseries formed during construction. Fifteen double oh one to fifteen oh one five were all built between nineteen seventy one and nineteen seventy four and were distinguished by deep side grills, which were mounted off-centre. 15016 to 15050 were delivered between 1974 and 1976, and featured off-centre grills, which were not so deep, whilst 15051 to 065 
had central side grills similar in appearance to the BB7200 and BB2200. 15001 was withdrawn from traffic on the 9th of October 2019 after 48 years service and covered just over 11 million kilometres. The loco is to be preserved as part of the national collection based at the museum at Malouz. 15023 follows just a short time later. The most pleasing livery worn by the class is the original Grand Confort colours, as worn by number 050, seen entering the station at Agondage with the 1717 Strasbourg to Lille. On the 10th of June 1996, we see another rare shot of the concrete grey and orange livery, which, as we said, was only ever worn for a short time by two locos, numbers 34 and 40. 
This is number 40 at Birchen in Luxembourg with train EC91 from Brussels to Basel. This is the return train number EC90 from Basel to Brussels hauled through Agondage by the same loco number 15040. This time in its new livery on the 26th of August 1998. On the 15th of June 1999, number 15010 heads south through Bettenburg in Luxembourg with train EC91 from Brussels to Basel. 15010 was introduced into traffic on the 28th of June 1973 and is still at work on trains in the Normandy region. It is now the year 2000 and the class are still to be found at work on the main lines east of Paris towards Vitry, Rennes, Luxembourg, Strasbourg and the route down to Basel, the third decade of their use in this area since introduction. Number 15008 is caught between duties here at Mulhouse on the 14th of June. Number 8 entered traffic on the 9th of April 1973 and was withdrawn on the 17th of December 2019, having travelled some 10.7 million kilometres. Sister locomotive number 15034 arrives with a service from Strasbourg. As mentioned previously, this was one of two locos painted for a short time in the concrete and orange livery. Here it wears the later Corel Plus livery. The loco was subsequently allocated to the intercity sector from the 1st of January 2005 and then from the 10th of December 2006 it was one of 11 locos transferred away from Strasbourg for the first time when it went to Acher Depot, although it continued to work services out of Paris Nord. It was later fitted with push-pull equipment and continues to work services out to Le Havre.
This is 15028, arriving at Tayonville on the 19th of May 2001, hauling train number EC296, the 0645 from Strasbourg to Brussels. The loco will haul the train as far as Luxembourg City. 15028 was introduced into traffic on the 14th of October 1975, but was withdrawn from service on the 2nd of January 2013 as a result of damage received at Paris Saint Lazare station on the 19th of August 2012. Fifteen oh thirty is still working in the Normandy region. It is seen here departing Tayonville with the 0802 service from Luxembourg to Paris. Fifteen oh two eight head south through Mezier Les Mes with train EC ninety one from Brussels to Basel. This is 15041 on the outskirts of Strasbourg with the 0748 from Paris. The locos were still regular performers on the main route between Mez and Lille, albeit just operating two train pairs on this route each day. Here 15064 approaches Vallon on the 14th of June 2002 with the 0610 from Lille to Mez. It is now 2003 and 15016 rounds the curve north of the town of Bettenborg with the 1050 from Paris to Luxembourg. Just to the north at Berchem, number 027 heads south at the head of train EC97 from Brussels to Chor in Switzerland. Fifteen double oh five was withdrawn from traffic on the eighth of April twenty nineteen. Here it passes through Pagny sur Moselle 
on the 6th of October 2005. Sister locomotive number 15006 passes Tronville on Barwa on the 21st of April 2005. Just two and a half months later, on the 6th of July, the loco caught fire at Chalon en Champagne and subsequently became the third of the class to be withdrawn on the 9th of December 2005. The main route where the class could be found at work was still the Paris to Strasbourg line and its electrified branches. Heading east at Etrapi is 15012, with the 1350 Paris to Luxembourg city. The date is the 20th of April 2005. Fifteen oh one two was introduced into traffic on the twenty second of October nineteen seventy three and was withdrawn as recently as the seventeenth of december twenty nineteen, another of the class to achieve over ten million kilometres in traffic. Up next is 15016, seen just north of Dormans. The town of Dormans is a popular photographic location, and here we see number 15022 departing the station at the head of the 1720 from Rennes to Paris. The date is the 19th of April 2005. 15022 was introduced into traffic on the 6th of March 1975.
The 1414 Paris to Strasbourg approaches the camera just east of Vitry Le Francois on the 20th of June 2005 with number 024 in charge. Fifteen oh three seven was part of a second batch of ten of the class to be fitted with push pull equipment. Today it is allocated to the Normandy Division, operating services out to Le Havre and on part of the line towards Caen. Fifteen oh four four was the next to appear, heading west past Sauvigny, with the fourteen forty two service from Nancy to Paris. The following day, on the twentieth of April two thousand and five, the loco is seen again with the same service, this time east of Vitry Le Francois. Fifteen oh five four passes Sauvigny with the fourteen forty two from Nancy.
This is the view looking towards Troisi, as 15.059 heads west with the 15.50 from Strasbourg to Paris. Number 059 was part of the first batch of 24 locos fitted with push-pull equipment, and still operates today on the Picardie subdivision. Fifteen oh six one heads north towards Dormans, with the fifteen forty five service from Paris to Strasbourg. Two thousand and five was to be the last year that the class had total supremacy on this old classic route, as from two thousand and six TGVs would start to take over. Fifteen oh three six heads north light engine through Wittelsheim, north of Mulhouse. After many members of the class had been modified for freight work, they were all banned from such duties from 2003 onwards. From the same year, three members were allocated to secondary duties until January 2005, when 18 locos were transferred onto passenger work on the Paris Nord to Amiens and Saint Quentin routes. Additionally, 15007 to 15010 moved to secondary services in the Alsace region. <laughs> 15054 passes through pagny sur moselle on the 16th of June with the 1158 from Mez to Grenoble. In the opposite direction, number 25 passes with the 0636 from Lyon to Mez. The 10th of December 2006 was notable as it was the date that the first major transfers away from Strasbourg occurred, when 11 machines were moved to Acher, and within a year only 10 locos were to remain allocated to Strasbourg. This is Sotteville, just south of Rouen, as we see 15003 heading a service for Paris. The loco was not equipped with push-pull equipment, so this was a standard hauled working, despite the driving coach on the rear. The loco survived in traffic until the 17th of December 2019. Fifteen oh six three was one of the last batch to receive a heavy overhaul, and was finished off in the then new en voyage livery. Here it heads north at Sotteville on the eighteenth of july two thousand and seven. On the 17th of June 2007, apart from the 11 earmarked to remain at Strasbourg, the entire class transferred to Acher. They were by now also working trains on the Caen and Cherbourg line. Here 15030 powers the 1404 Cherbourg to Paris, just east of Mesidon. 
on the 17th of July 2007. On the same line, 15032 heads east at Le Men Ile Morget with the 1424 Caen to Paris. Number 032 entered service on the 2nd of December 1975 and is still at work northwest of Paris in the Normandy area. The same loco heads west at La Porterie. Taken from the same spot, 15040 heads west with the 1733 from Paris Saint Lazare to Caen. The loco entered traffic on the 2nd of February 1976 and is still in service. Fifteen oh four three has not long left the town of Bernay, as it heads into the setting sun with the nineteen oh seven from Paris to Caen. Just east of Lisieux, we see 15053 heading the 1641 from Caen. The loco is another of the last of the class to receive a heavy overhaul, signified by its en voyage livery. It was one of the second batch of 10 locomotives to receive push-pull equipment between 2013 and 2014. And finally in this section, a very rare shot of one of the class deep in 1500 volt DC territory near Chagny, south of Dijon. In this view, number 15049 is in the consist of this freight heading for Lyon. 26172 provides the power. The loco was on its way to the workshops at Oulon, situated in Lyon. In part 3 of this programme, we chart the history of the class from 2008 to the summer of 2019. This time we will proceed in number order. We begin with 15001 at Longuillon on the 9th of June 2009. This was one of two locos at this time which were allocated to regional services in the Alsace region. As mentioned before, this machine has now been saved and is part of the national collection. The train is the 1736 from Nancy to Longwy.
On the same day, the Loco is seen south of Dormans, with the 1236 from Paris to Saint Dizier. The Loco carried this same livery throughout its 48 year career. He finds sight at Dormans as number 003 departs south with the 1537 from Saint Dizier. It's the turn of 15.004 next, as it passes Fussois, with the 16.36 from Paris on the 19th of July 2018. The Loco is currently the oldest one in the operational fleet, having been introduced into traffic on the 4th of January 1972. Fifteen double oh nine is the next oldest class member in traffic, and currently working on the Normandy subdivision. It is seen on the twenty fourth of May, twenty nineteen, close to Romilly Le Poutinet, with the O eight fourteen Paris to Cherbourg. Fifteen oh ten approaches Beaumont Le Roger on the twenty fourth of May twenty nineteen with the O five forty three from Cherbourg to Paris. This Normandy based loco is seen at Plaville heading a train for Caen. Fifteen oh one two was allocated to the Picardie subdivision upon its withdrawal late last year. Here it approaches Dormont heading the 0836 Paris to Barladou on the 30th of July 2017. It is seen again at the same location, heading the 1137 return from bar le to Paris.
a great view of the Loco and its train, as it heads north past Fussois with the 1836 Paris to Saint Dizier on the 30th of July 2017. Sister Loco number 15013 is a Normandy machine, seen here at Plainville on the 26th of September 2018, heading for Caen. Introduced into traffic on the 15th of November 1973, it can still be found at work principally on trains to and from Caen. However, with new units being introduced on this line, withdrawal is not that far away. Fifteen oh one seven began its career on the fifteenth of December nineteen seventy four. Here it passes Romy Lu Putine with the O six thirty eight from Cherbourg to Paris. Fifteen oh one eight was retired from traffic on the twenty eighth of November two thousand and thirteen. In happier times it is seen at Benfeld, south of Strasbourg, with the 0721 from Basel on the 1st of July 2009. Number 19 is another Normandy machine, and passes the popular photo spot at Plaville on the 26th of September 2018. Eight months later, and it is seen south of Circuigny, powering the 0607 from Caen to Paris. The date is the 24th of May 2019. Next up it is number 020, seen approaching Fusoi on the 30th of July 2017 with the 1636 Paris to Strasbourg. Another loco still going strong is number 15021. Here it heads east near Dormar with the 1036 Paris to Chalon en Champagne on the 30th of July 2017.
The Loco's return working was the 1837 from Saint-Dizier. It is seen here at Fussois. Two years later, the loco had transferred across Paris to work Normandy services. Here it approaches Romilly le Poutinet. Interestingly, the loco was at work in Normandy a few years earlier. Here it is south of Cercigny, heading the 1707 Caen to Paris, on the 8th of October 2015. Fifteen o two two entered service on the 6th of March 1975, and is allocated to Normandy duties. The first of our series of shots sees it passing Beaumont Le Roger on the 24th of May 2019 at the head of the 0644 Paris to Caen. The loco is booked to return on the 1007 Caen to Paris and is seen here approaching Romilly Le Poutinet. Diagrams also see it on the Rouen to Le Havre line. Here it approaches Motteville on the 23rd of May 2019. The loco heads east near Foucar Alvimar later the same day. Fifteen oh two three heads a Basel to Strasbourg Express through Benfeld on the first of July two thousand and nine. Six years later, on the 8th of October, it is seen south of Cercigny, with a Paris to Caen working. The loco was introduced into traffic on the 2nd of April 1975, being based then at Strasbourg. It later became one of the dedicated 11 machines to remain at the depot, working on the Luxembourg to Basel corridor, until ousted by BB 26000s. Fifteen oh two five, introduced on the thirteenth of june nineteen seventy five, is another member of the non push pull fleet dedicated to working in Normandy. Here it heads the O seven eleven through Ville Duville to Paris service at Playville on the morning of the twenty seventh of september two thousand and eighteen.
15031 passes Motteville on the 1st of August 2017 with a service for Le Havre. Fifteen oh three four is fairly unusual in that it has worn four different colour schemes in its forty four year career. Here it heads for Havre, where it is wearing the latest on voyage livery, seen on the twenty seventh of september twenty eighteen. Another one of the second tranche of the fleet to get push pull equipment was number fifteen oh three five. When we filmed it here on the 11th of October 2016, it was operating to the east of Paris on local services. Since then it has migrated across the city and is currently working in Normandy. It approaches Longueuil saint marie Fifteen oh three six heads over the viaduct at Breute Bouzeville. Back to Longueuil, Saint Marie, and the setting sun offers a superb light backdrop as 15037 brings up the rear of the 1740 Paris Nord to Compiègne. The date is the 11th of October 2016. Again, 15035 was part of the second batch of 10 locos fitted with push pull equipment between 2013 and 2014. This is 15041. And followed by 15042 on the impressive Barentin viaduct.
15042 was initially transferred to the Picardy region in the June 2007 reshuffle. It later transferred to Normandy duties, where it is seen at Motiville with a train from Le Havre. Dino 42 returned on a train back to Paris and is seen at Motteville once again. The date is the 23rd of May 2019. On this day, the Loco was making a number of round trips between Paris and Le Havre. Here is another one of its turns, seen near Foucault al Vimar. 15042 was introduced into traffic on the 27th of February 1976. Fifteen o four four is seen at Motteville. It followed number o four two into traffic on the fifteenth of March, nineteen seventy six. Today, it is allocated to the Normandy subdivision. We are not far from Amiens, and the date is the 4th of April 2011, as 15045 heads a train from Paris. The Locos replaced BB 16100s, which were operating the VO2N and V2N double deck stock on these routes prior to 2009, when 24 of the 15,000s had push pull equipment fitted over a three year period from 2007 onwards. Number 046 works a similar type of train and is captured near Longueuil Saint Marie, working a commuter service for Compiègne on the 24th of June 2013. Fifteen o four seven entered traffic on the twentieth of April, nineteen seventy six. At that time, around four locos per month were being delivered. The loco is on the rear of this working from Le Havre, seen at Villeneuve sur Seine, on the fourth of April, two thousand and eleven. Fifteen o five o heads for Paris at Mezy Moulin. Fifteen o five o entered traffic on the thirteenth of May, nineteen seventy six, before being withdrawn on the ninth of April, twenty nineteen, having covered just over ten million kilometres.
15051 approaches Motteville with a Paris to Les Havre service on the 1st of August 2019. This loco is not fitted with push-pull equipment, and so withdrawal will not be that far away. Construction of the class was broken during 1976 and 1977, with no deliveries taking place. Number 051, placed into service on the 9th of May 1978, was the first for nearly two years. Here it is seen near Plaville on the Caen to Paris line. Number 053 is next, seen on the morning of the 24th of May 2019, just south of Cirquigny, with the 0555 from Cirquigny to Paris. Fifteen oh five four is on the rear of this, the eleven fifty nine from Le Havre to Paris. The train passes Fulcar Alvimar on the twenty seventh of September, twenty eighteen. This is 15058, seen on the 4th of April 2011. Fifteen oh five nine began its life at Strasbourg depot on the first of June nineteen seventy eight. It was part of the first batch of twenty four locos to receive push pull equipment, and was initially sent to work on services to Caen, Le Havre, and north to Amiens and Maubeuge, close to Belgium. Since then, the loco has moved to Longs depot, working regional services to Amiens, and here on the line to Saint Quentin. The loco is seen once again on its return working, the 1610 Compiègne to Paris, seen at Armancourt on the 11th of October 2016. It came back later that evening on the 1810 from Cray to Compiègne. At the same location, but on the 24th of June 2013, number 061 heads north with the 0807 from Paris to Saint Quentin. The loco entered traffic back on the 19th of June 1976, 
and is currently allocated to Asher Depot for services in Normandy. Here it is on a service for Le Havre. Fifteen oh six two is also a Normandy loco and is seen here at Le Cormier with the sixteen forty one from Cherbourg to Paris. On the 30th of July 2017, 15063 approaches Remy Sauvigny with the 1716 Chalon en Champagne to Paris. New on the 10th of July 1978, the Iloco was withdrawn on the 17th of December 2019. The late afternoon sun catches 15.064 at Armancourt, with a 16.04 from Compiègne to Paris. This loco is now allocated to the Normandy services and was part of the 10 locos that received push-pull equipment between 2013 and 2014 as a means to replace the ageing fleet of BB17000 locos. It entered traffic on the 17th of August 1978. The last of the class is 15065. Delivered new on the 17th of October 1978, it approaches Beaumont Le Roger on the 24th of May 2019, powering the 0710 through Ville Duville to Paris. Our last scene in this programme sees number 065 heading through Villeneuve-sur-Seine. In a hugely impressive career, these locos are amongst the best electric locos ever built for SNCF, with almost a faultless career. Within a few short years the locos will become history, making way for their successors. Modern 200 km per hour double-deck Omnio Premium intercity electric multiple units. It will have to be seen whether their legacy can match those of the superb BB15000s. Thank you for watching.